So now that we have our basic project saved, let's talk about our plans for this video. For this video, we are going to set up a hierarchical project. What that means is that the project, all the schematic documents in the project are going to link back to the top sheet, the sheet that we just created. The reason I do this is because if someone views the top sheet, they'll be able to understand the whole you know, system level function of the actual design. And I think that's a, a very good way of doing things. So the first thing we want to do is we are going to place, so we right click place a, uh, let's see here, a sheet symbol and let's that seems like a good size and let's change some of the information on it so let's double click on it and title is op amp and the file name this is actually going to create another schematic document that's a parent sheet, I mean um, a child sheet to this document. What that means is that you'll be able to step through as, as if this was a layered kind of system. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So let's title this opamp. schematic document and let's press OK now what kind of inputs and outputs do we want on this well first of all we need to discuss what we actually want to do in our project you should probably have that done before you even make a project but let's take a look at this picture right here I'm going to be putting it on the screen so you can see so you have J1, that's the voltage input, and it goes through a little uh, amplifier, and then it has two diodes back to back. What that does is actually clips the signal. So in essence, this is just a little basic distortion pedal for a guitar. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but I wanted to do something very simple for this tutorial. So what kind of inputs and outputs do we need for this actual op-amp section of it? Well, we're going to need an input and an output. So let's right-click and place a sheet entry. Put one right here and right here. So the input of it, we're just going to, let's say, we'll call it input. And the output, naturally, we're going to say output. So if we actually right click on this, we can go down to sheet symbol actions. We are going to create a sheet from the sheet symbol. See what it did right there? It created a new schematic document with these ports already. And you might notice, why is this way over here? Well, it's not saved yet. So if we right click on this top sheet and do compile document, it should have actually, well let's, well, let's save this first, hold on. Okay, so it's actually the project. You have to compile the project. And as you see, really cool they have the top sheet and inside of that top sheet you have this so this sh the schematic document is represented by this block and this is what's coming into it and this is what's coming out of it it's pretty pretty simple stuff a trick that I'd like to show is if you actually hold control and you double click on that block, it'll actually go into that schematic document. 
And likewise, if you see any port you have in your document, you can control double click it and it will actually jump to where that goes to. That's a great way of navigating designs. And it's really useful when you have a top sheet that has tons of ports, tons of schematic document blocks. You're going to want to get to use that or get used to using that. So let's talk about um, setting up the rest of these schematic documents. So we can control C and control P, copy and paste it. And I'm just going to call this input. That's where the input jack is going to be. And now since it actually takes the input from the real world, the jack is actually going to be inside of the schematic document. But the output of that jack is going to go from here to the input of the op amp schematic document. So like this, but let's make this. Boom, here we go. Cool. Now you see that there's a problem. It says it is a net with multiple names. We will get to that in the next video or maybe a couple videos down the road but this is just a basic way of setting things up and naturally let's let's put the diodes on an actual separate sheet just to specify just to show you the power of this so we'll call that clipping is that's what they're doing. And finally, this is going to be the output jack. Okay, so now we've created both of those. Let's compile. Cool. Now we actually have four schematic documents in the top sheet is very, very simple to understand. You have your input, you have the op amp stage, you have the clipping circuit, and then you have your output. It's incredibly easy to understand and I suggest that no matter how simple the circuit actually is, that you actually do this method, method because it's very powerful and it's good to get used to using. So let's save all these. And let's go to the next video. Hope to see you there.